Just as Walter Anderson was depicting the natural environment of the Gulf Coast, he was also examining how people lived and worked within it. While many of his works that we are familiar with are of animals and plants, the items that we're going to look at today actually feature humans and how they interacted with seafood culture on the Gulf Coast. So we have these really beautiful pen and ink drawings of oyster shuckers, uh, and then we have two very intimate uh, watercolors. Uh, one is from a much further perspective, and it's almost as if the uh, human in a boat that's on the water is melding with the water, and you just have these little spires of the factories from the seafood industry in the background. The last piece that we're going to look at is of a man mending a net. Um, and it's a very intimate portrait of this man interacting with his way of livelihood. Even though Anderson loved being on the pristine islands of the Gulf Coast, he understood that nature and wildlife did not exist in isolation from humanity. And the food that we eat is a perfect example of how nature and humanity become one.